Good evening, everyone. Ah, I feel like it's been forever since I've seen all my Facebook friends. Just give me a second. I'm going to do a quick mic check. Make sure we're filming. And make sure you can hear me. So just hang on one moment. Lovely. My mic is working. Bravo, bravo. All right. So basically, welcome. I missed you guys. So I decided, since we have no classes in the studio tonight, that I was going to film the Gentle Pio class. I was going to film last night, um, but I had to sub a quick class. Um, so we had a little scheduling mishap with, so no worries there. Um, but anyways, I'm so happy to be back. Um, I want to first to thank all of you who've come back to the studio this week. Um, it has really been good to see your faces, have someone in here with me, um, and also see my staff. You guys are great, those of you who, who are back this week with me during this first phase of reopening. It's been great to see you guys. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate everybody for being respectful of one another and coming in and keeping their social distance and staying nice and clean. It's really lovely that we have such a beautiful community here of people who just respect each other so much. Um, I will be sending out an email either later tonight or tomorrow whenever I get it finished. Um, since I kind of have an idea of how the week is running and stuff like that, I do plan on doing some live classes. Um, a few of them will be separate that I'll be filming without anyone in the studio, and a few of them will be, um, I'll be setting up my camera. I believe I have the camera set up perfectly that if you're taking class, you won't be visible, so you don't have to worry about that, but a few people can join in and watch us as well. So be looking for that email with that schedule. Um, we will be open on Monday, Memorial Day, so if anybody wants to come in for classes here in the studio, please feel free to join us. Our schedule is up online. Um, we've been adding a few different new things and stuff like that, so just, you know, check out for our emails, watch. Um, and yeah, anyways, it's almost 6 o'clock, so we will be getting started shortly. Um, tonight's class, I'm probably going to use a yoga block and my yoga strap. Um, and we're just going to do a nice gentle Paiyu this Friday night. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, I'm just doing all my mat workouts. I find in the studio I'm not doing um, as much demonstration. So let's see how I do with this tonight. I might be tight. I might not. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty fun nonetheless. And yeah, what else? What else do I got for you? I think that's it. I might have had more planned to say, but I can't think of it now. So let's just get to it. So go ahead, lie back onto your backs. So I'm going to lay with my neck flat down on the mat. Um, but if you can't lay with your neck comfortably down, just go ahead and take your yoga block and you're going to bring it right back here underneath your neck. Or if you have a small pillow, that works as well. I'm just going to bring those arms down by your sides. And just slowly start to calm your mind. And be thankful that we made it through another week. We're all still here. And just slowly breathe. Starting to relax your face. Relax those shoulders. Relax the belly and just tune your thoughts inward. Go ahead, taking a deep inhale and exhale. Let's take another breath like that, deep inhale and exhale. And another breath, inhale, and exhale. One more breath like that, deep inhale, 
and exhale. From here, I want you to start to consciously connect that breath to your abdominals. So take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, pull that belly button to your spine like you're putting on a tight pair of pants. So think of sinking that lower back into the mat. Again, take a deep inhale. And exhale, scoop that belly button into your spine, sinking that lower back into the mat. And again, inhale. And exhale, scoop that belly. Last breath there, deep inhale. And exhale. Nice. On the next inhale, we're going to slide the shoulders up by your ears like you're shrugging your shoulders, usually where I don't like them. And on the exhale, slide those fingertips down by your heels. As you do that, also scoop in that belly. So again, I'm going to sit up so you can see me. Inhale, those shoulders will lift up by your ears. And then exhale, they'll slide down, scooping the belly. Hi, Mary. Hello, Atar. Again, inhale, lifting those shoulders up by the ears. And exhale, sliding those fingertips down, scooping the belly button. And again, inhale, lifting those shoulders up by your ears. And exhale, sliding those fingertips down, scooping the belly button into the spine. Beautiful. From here, just go ahead, close those legs nice and tight together, keeping those arms down by your side. Keep working the shoulders. We're going to inhale, lifting the shoulders up by the ears. On the exhale, slide those fingertips down by your heels and at the same time, squeeze the inner thighs together. So imagine you have a pencil between your thighs and you're squeezing it nice and tight. Again, inhale, lifting those shoulders up by your ears. Exhale, sliding the fingertips down, scooping the belly, squeezing those inner thighs nice and tight. Good, again like that, inhale, lifting the shoulders up by the ears. Exhale, sliding those fingertips down, scooping the belly, squeezing the inner thighs. Let's take one more there. Inhale, lifting those shoulders up by your ears. And exhale, sliding them down, scooping that belly nice and tight. Good. And from there, just relax the upper body. And we're just going to rock those knees side to side, just making like little windshield wipers. Releasing that lower back. Nice little stretches from each side. Good. From there, pausing those legs in the middle. I want you to take the arms, take an inhale, reach them up towards the ceiling. From here, let them drop all the way back behind your head. Feel that stretch here. Take a deep inhale. Now as we exhale, we're going to circle those arms around. Oops, I got too many props around me bringing them right back down by your side. Again, like that, inhale, reach the arms back up over your head. Take a nice stretch here. And exhale, circle the arms back around and down. Good. One more time like that, inhale, reaching the arms all the way back up over your head. And exhale, circling them around and down. And from here, reaching the fingertips right up towards the ceiling. We're going to take an inhale here. Now on the exhale, I want you to curl your chin in towards your chest, lifting those shoulder blades up off the mat. Now if you're supporting your head on a block, just focus on scooping that belly in. So imagine somebody stepping right here on your belly. You're sinking that lower back. From here, we're going to inhale as we lower it back down, stretching those fingertips up towards the ceiling. Again, deep inhale here. Exhale, scoop that belly, chin comes into the chest. Now right here, squeeze those inner thighs. Now also pull those shoulders away from your ears. So make sure you're almost like pressing your arms down. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, scoop the belly, lifting it up, reaching those fingertips towards the knees. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, scooping that belly, squeezing the inner thighs, trying to sink those abs. Inhale, lower it down. 
Exhale, scoop the belly so those abs engage first. Don't use your neck to lift you up. And lower it back down. Let's do one more there. Inhale, exhale, squeeze those inner thighs. Sink the lower belly, lifting it up. And inhale. Reach those arms all the way back around your head, circling them around and down, bringing them right down by your sides. Good. From here, we're going to open those legs shoulder width apart. So find those hip bones and then align your heels with those. Hands are going to come down by the side. We're going to do a little bit of pelvic tilts here. So we're going to take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to press into the heels as we slowly curl that tailbone up. When we get to the top there, pause, take an inhale. Did you exhale, roll back down. So really try to roll through each vertebra one by one. Pause at the bottom, taking an inhale. As you exhale, press into those heels as you lift those hips up. So that area from the rib cage to the hips are squeezed nice and tight. Pause there at the top, taking an inhale. As you exhale, roll it back down, one vertebra at a time. Pause at the bottom, taking an inhale. As we exhale, press into those heels, scooping the belly, lifting the hips up. Pause there, taking an inhale. As we exhale, roll it back down. And again, inhale. Exhale, pressing into those heels, lifting the hips up, squeezing the glutes nice and tight here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, roll it back down. Imagine you're trying to create space between each vertebra as you lay them back down on the mat. One more time like that. Inhale. Exhale, chin comes, not chin, tailbone comes up, lifting it up. Pause there at the top, taking an inhale. And as we exhale, just rolling it back down through that spine. From here, we're going to go ahead and bring those legs together. We're going to do a roll up. So we're going to lift those arms back behind your head. Taking an inhale as you exhale. Now that chin comes into the chest. This is where I was headed. Rolling it up. If you need to grab onto the back of those thighs to help you up for the first one, sit up nice and tall here. Go ahead, stretch those legs out in front of you, flexing the feet, stretching the fingertips forward. And as we exhale, we're going to stretch forward, trying to keep those arms parallel to the ground. Crown of the head is reaching forward. From here, we're going to sit up nice and tall, taking an inhale. On the exhale, tucking that chin down towards the chest, and we're going to try to roll it back nice and slow. Now, if you need to, you can bend those legs in and just use the back of your legs to roll it down. Good. From here, bring those arms back up over your head. I'm going to straighten my legs out, see if you can do the same. Now think of pressing the back of your legs into the mat as we roll up. So inhale, those arms are going to come up. Exhale, chin comes into the chest, rolling it up, stretching those fingertips forward, arms parallel to the ground. Good. Inhale, sit up nice and tall here, lengthen through the crown of that head. Then as we exhale, tucking that chin down towards the chest, scooping the belly, rolling it down. Nice and slow. Arms come back up over the head. Good. Let's do one more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Chin comes into the chest, scooping that belly. Come on. You got it. I got to see some of you back in class, and I realized these roll-ups are a little scary, huh? Stretch those fingers forward. And from here, sit up nice and tall, taking an inhale. And then we're just going to bend those legs in. I'm going to turn down the volume on my it's a slight delay and I hear myself and it throws me off. All right, so from here, our legs are going to be squeezed in nice and tight together. We're going to hold under the back of those thighs. Sit up nice and tall, lengthening that spine. Now on the exhale, I want you to tuck your chin in towards your chest as you round that spine backwards, making a C shape. Now right here, really try to flatten out the tummy, bring those shoulders away from the ears. From here, we're going to sit up nice and tall as we inhale, lifting those shoulders up, rolling them back and down. Again, exhale, dropping that chin down towards the chest, rounding backwards. Right here, squeeze the inner thighs, pull that belly in. Good. 
Inhale, sit up nice and tall, lifting those shoulders up by the ears, rolling them back and down. Again, exhale, dropping that chin down towards the chest, scooping the belly, rolling it back. Right here, don't let those shoulders come up here. Relax them down. Good. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, rolling those shoulders back and down. Exhale, dropping that chin down towards the chest, scooping that belly. And inhale, sit up nice and tall. Let's take one more like that. Exhale, dropping the chin down towards the chest. This time, try to take it back a little bit further. Really feel those abs work. Good. Inhale, sitting it up nice and tall. From here, we're just going to drop those knees open, keeping the bottom of the feet together. Go ahead and grab onto the front of the shins here. And we're just going to take a big inhale, opening that heart up. Good. From here, taking an inhale, we're going to reach those arms up overhead. Taking them up as far as you can. So if you can't lift your arms up overhead, just reach them forward. That's okay, too. Big inhale here. From here, I want you to hinge forward. Think of the crown of the head coming towards me, towards the screen. Good. And then as you exhale, sit it back up. As you sit up, think of pulling that belly in nice and tight. Again, inhale, stretch it forward, reaching the crown of the head forward. And exhale, bring it up, scooping the belly. Good. Again, inhale, stretching it forward. Exhale, bringing it up. One more like this. Inhale, stretching it forward. Hold it here, long spine. And then on the exhale, just dropping that chin down towards the chest, bringing those hands down to the ground. Just relaxing the upper body here. We're just going to hold this for a few breaths. So take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, maybe walking those hands out a little bit further. Holding it here, taking a deep inhale. And exhale. One more breath there, deep inhale. And exhale. From here, taking an inhale, lifting those arms all the way back up. And then just circling them around and down by your side. Good. From there, we're going to inhale, reaching those arms back up. And then as we exhale, we're going to twist to the right side of your room. That left hand is going to come to the front of that left shin. Trying to keep those hips nice and even. From here, take an inhale as you lengthen up through the crown of that head. And then as we exhale, we're going to twist to looking over that right shoulder. So think of your midsection like a wet towel and you're trying to wring it out so those abs are pulling inwards. You're feeling those abs work. Hold it right here, take a deep inhale. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Good, take another breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, twist. One more breath, inhale. From here, both arms come up, taking an inhale, bringing your body back to the center. On the exhale, we're going to twist to the left, so that right hand's going to come to the front of that left shin. Right here, sit up nice and tall, taking an inhale. Then as we exhale, we're going to twist, just looking it over that left shoulder. Taking a deep inhale here. And exhale, twist. And again, inhale. And exhale, twist. One more breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, twist. Good. From there, inhale, reaching those arms all the way up. This time on the exhale, we're going to bring the hands right back here behind our hips. And we're just going to lean it backwards opening that chest. So you can look that head up if you want. You can drop it down. Do what feels good to you. Just focus on opening up the front of this chest here. Taking a deep inhale. 
and an exhale. One more breath here, deep inhale. And exhale. From here, taking an inhale, reaching those arms up. And on the exhale, we're just gonna bring them right here to the front of the shins. And I want you to inhale, sit up nice and tall. Right here, pull those shoulders away from your ears. Now on the exhale, tuck that chin down towards the chest, scooping that belly in, rounding backwards. So I'm sucking my belly in. From here, I'm gonna inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Opening that chest. Exhale, dropping that chin down towards the chest, scooping the belly in. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And again, exhale, dropping that chin down towards the chest. And inhale, sitting it up nice and tall. Awesome. From here, we're going to take that right leg. We're going to stretch it forward. The left leg's going to come right here on the inside of your leg. Now just go ahead, sit up nice and tall, and you're going to flex and point that right foot. Just feeling the stretch through the foot, from the top of the foot, through the back of the calf. Really trying to make sure both hip bones are firmly down on that mat. From here, flex the foot. We're going to take an inhale, swooping those arms up. Again, you can bring them all the way up or you can stretch them straight in front of you. From here, we're going to inhale as we hinge forward again, just like we were doing when both legs were bent in. Then as we exhale, we're going to sit it right back up. As you sit up, suck in the belly. Inhale, stretch it forward. Reach long. Try to have that long spine. Exhale, bring it up. Good. Again, inhale, stretch it forward. And on the exhale, just dropping your body down over the top of that leg. Holding the stretch here. You might be able to reach that foot if you can. Go ahead, give it a pull, maybe pulling on the toes. Good. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One more breath like that. Deep inhale. And exhale. From here, taking an inhale, reaching those fingertips out towards me as you sit it all the way back up. We're going to take that right leg now and open it out to the side. So this left leg is going to stay in. We're going to take our right hand, grab right on here to that left ankle. Left hand's going to reach up as we inhale. Then as we exhale, we're going to stretch up and then over. Trying to keep both hips down on the mat. Just stretching through the side of the body there. Good. Again, inhale, try to reach up higher. And exhale, stretch a little bit more. One more breath here, deep inhale. And exhale. From here, bringing that arm all the way up. Left hand's gonna come down on the mat. That right arm's gonna reach up, taking an inhale, reaching up through the side of the body as we exhale, stretch it over to the side. Again, trying to keep both hip bones down, keeping the abs pulled in nice and tight. Taking an inhale. And an exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Good. Bringing this arm all the way up, taking an inhale. We're going to go ahead and take that right leg. Now you can either bring it right in front of that left leg, or if you're a little bit more bendy, you can cross it all the way over that leg. So I'm going to keep mine in front today just to show you. From here, the left arm is going to come out to the side, taking an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to cross and hug that knee. Go ahead and look into the right side of the room. If you want, you can take that right hand, place it right behind you. Now just like we were doing when the bottom of our feet were together, we're going to inhale, lengthening up through the crown of that head. And then as we exhale, twisting a little bit deeper, looking over that shoulder. And inhale. And exhale. One more breath, deep inhale here. And exhale. Awesome. Taking it back into the center. Go ahead, uncross that leg. 
now we're gonna take that right foot and we're gonna bring it up on top of that left leg as you can. Now this might be more than enough of a stretch, which is perfectly fine. If it is, I want you to sit up nice and tall, really lengthen that spine. You can take both hands, press that knee down slightly. And this might be a perfect stretch for you. Keep those abs pulled in nice and tight though. Don't let the belly hang out. From here, if you want a deeper stretch, see if you can reach down below that ankle and pick that leg up a little bit. Keep pressing that knee down. Remember, shoulders in alignment, so even if that foot is down, sitting up nice and tall, taking a deep inhale, and exhale. Good. And another breath here, inhale, and exhale. Last breath here, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. And we're gonna go ahead and switch legs now. So that left leg's gonna come in front, the right foot's gonna come right to your instep here. Just go ahead, flexing and pointing through that left foot. Feeling the stretch in your calf when you flex the foot and when you point it, feeling the top of that foot stretch out a little bit. Inhale, flex, exhale, point. Inhale, flex, exhale, point, and flex, holding it there. Inhale, the arms are gonna come up. We're gonna hinge it forward, so think of a nice long spine here, belly's pulled in, having tension in these arms, nice and strong, energy go through them. Exhale, sit it up, pull that belly in. Inhale, stretch it forward. Exhale, bring it up. And again, inhale, stretch it forward. From there, exhale, just relaxing the body down on top of that thigh. Feeling that stretch there. Taking a deep inhale. And an exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more breath here, inhale, and exhale. From here, stretching those fingertips up. We're gonna go ahead and take that leg out to the side. Go ahead, take your left hand, bring it to the front of that right foot. Inhale, the right arm comes up. Really lengthen up nice and tall, and as we exhale, stretching it over to the side. Oh boy, does this feel good. I didn't get enough stretching in this week. Good, keep those abs pulled in nice and tight. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath, deep inhale. And exhale. Remember there, bringing the body up. That right arm's gonna come down by the side, the left arm's gonna come up. Big inhale here, and as we exhale, stretching it over to the side. As you're stretching, Pulling those abs in nice and tight. I know sometimes it's hard to move slow like this, but it is so good for the body to hold these stretches and hold these poses. Pulling those abs in. Inhale. And exhale. Another breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, bringing that arm back up. From here, taking that left leg, so you can either bring it right in front of you or you can cross it all the way over. From here, we're gonna take that right arm out to the side. Go ahead, cross over, hug that leg. Left arm can come back behind you if you have that range of motion in your shoulders. From here, just taking a deep inhale. And then as we exhale, twisting, looking over that left shoulder. And again, taking an inhale, try to sit up even taller. Both sits bones are on the mat. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And again, inhale. And exhale. Good. Bringing it back into the center. Go ahead, take that leg. We're gonna move it over so that that left foot is right on top of the right leg. So again, this might be enough of a stretch for you. You can take, press that leg down slightly. Sit up nice and tall here. Shoulders are down and back. Inhale, as you exhale, scoop the abs inward. There you go, squeezing the glutes. Nice active stretching here. 
you want, you can reach down, try to pick that leg up. If you're really flexible in the hip, throw it over your head. I can't do that though. Inhale, my hips are too tight. And exhale, maybe at some point in my life I could, but then squats happened. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Deep inhale. And exhale. Good. Go ahead, place that leg down. All right. From here, we're going to take it. Scoot yourself up to the top of your mat. We're going to move into some rolling like a ball. So our hands are going to come down onto our ankles. We want our knees slightly open so they're in line with your shoulders. From here, hands come to the shin. We're going to take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to rock backwards, picking those toes up off the mat. So just practice balancing here. Now this might be all you can do. If you can't balance and hold this really good, I don't want you to roll yet. I just want you to work on that balance. Think of a round spine here. Now go ahead, inhale, drop those toes down. Again, exhale, rocking it back, picking those toes up. Holding it right there, elbows are wide, chin's going to tuck down. From here, we're going to go into rolling. So we're going to inhale as we take it back. Exhale, bringing it right back up, chin comes into the chest. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, bring it up, chin into the chest. Inhale, rock it back. Exhale, chin comes into the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now, if you're still just balancing there, if you didn't roll, go ahead, close those knees. Lift those legs up to tabletop. Squeeze. Try to lengthen that spine more. Stretch those fingertips forward. Inhale, straighten those legs if you can, coming into a beautiful teaser. Holding it here, just taking a deep inhale and exhale. Good. One more breath here. Deep inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Touching those toes down to the mat. Go ahead. Grabbing onto the back of the thighs. Taking an inhale. Lifting it up. As we exhale, tucking that chin down towards the chest as we roll it back down towards the mat. Beautiful. From here, I'm going to go ahead and grab my yoga strap. If you have a strap at home, that's great. If you don't, you can grab a hand towel or you can just grab onto the back of your leg. So I'm going to take this strap, hooking it over my right foot. Left leg is going to reach out straight in front of me. If you need to, if you can't straighten this leg all the way out, go ahead and bend it in. From here, we're going to inhale as we bend that right knee. And as we exhale, push that heel up towards the ceiling. As you do that, scoop the belly button into the spine. Again, inhale, bending that leg. Exhale, pressing that heel up. As you do that, sinking the lower back into the mat. Inhale, bending the leg. Exhale, pressing that heel up. Inhale, bend. And exhale, press. Now go ahead, just hold that stretch there, taking a deep inhale and an exhale. Another breath there, deep inhale and exhale. One more breath like that, inhale and exhale. From here, we're going to take an inhale as we open that leg out to the side. And once it gets out there, exhale. So think of Pulling the lower abs in, sinking that lower back into the mat. Both hip bones are up towards the ceiling. Now inhale, bring that leg right back up to the center. Again, exhale, opening that leg out to the side, sinking the lower belly into the mat. Not lower belly, yeah, kind of, lower back. Inhale, that leg comes up. It's been a long week, can you tell? Exhale, open that leg out towards the side, scooping that belly. Inhale, bring it up. One more time, taking that leg out to the side. And let's just hold it here a few breaths. So take a deep inhale. And exhale, trying to keep both of those hips pointing up towards the ceiling. And again, inhale. And exhale. Last breath.
breath here, deep inhale. And exhale. From here, bringing that leg up to the center. Go ahead, grab onto your strap or your towel with your left hand, bring that right arm out to the side. We're gonna take an inhale, and as we exhale, cross that leg over the body. Trying to keep the leg straight, just feeling that stretch through the side of that right leg. Inhale, bring the leg back up to the center. Exhale, cross that leg over the body as you do that, scooping the abdominals in. Inhale, bringing that leg up. Exhale, crossing that leg over. Inhale, bringing it up. One more, crossing it over. And just holding it here. Ooh, this is the one we feel. Deep inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Last breath there, deep inhale, and exhale. Go ahead, bringing that leg right back up. From here, we're gonna hold onto that strap with your right hand, leaving this leg up. We're gonna do some leg circles while our leg is here. So we're gonna use this strap a little bit to guide our leg circles. So cross that leg over your body as you inhale, lowering it down as you exhale, scoop the belly, sink that lower back as you pull it up. So those abs are pulling the leg up. Inhale, cross it over, exhale, pull it up. Inhale, cross, exhale, bring it up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more in this direction. Beautiful, from here take the leg the opposite way. So inhale as it opens, exhale, swoop, bring it up. Inhale, open, exhale, swooping, bringing it up. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more. Giving that leg one more nice stretch and lowering that leg down. Nice. And we're going to switch to the other side. So go ahead, take that strap. We're going to hook it around that left foot. Right leg's going to stretch out in front of you. Unless you're super tight in that right hip, then go ahead and just bend that leg in. No worries. From here, we're going to inhale as we bend that left leg. Exhale, pressing that heel up. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, press the heel up. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, press the heel up. One more, inhale, bend. And exhale, press that heel Hold the stretch here for a few breaths, taking a deep inhale, pulling those shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, give that leg a little more of a tug. As you do that, keep those abs nice and tight, pressing the back of the right leg into the mat. Inhale, and exhale. One more breath here, deep inhale, and exhale. From here, take that right arm out to the side. We're going to take an inhale. Now, as we exhale, we're going to open that leg out to the side. Right here, feel those abs engage. Squeeze them nice and tight. Feel the energy pressing through that heel. Inhale, bring the leg right back up to the center. Exhale, open that leg out to the side. Squeezing the glutes, pulling those abs nice and tight. Inhale, bring that leg up. Exhale, opening the leg out to the side. Scoop the belly, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, bringing that leg up. One more time. Exhale, taking that leg out to the side. Scoop that belly, squeeze it. And we're just gonna hold it here. So press the back of the arms into the mat. Enjoy this stretch. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale. And inhale, and exhale. One more breath there, deep inhale, and exhale. From here,
here, bringing that leg back up to the center. Go ahead, grab on with the right hand. That left arm's gonna come down to counter support. Taking an inhale as we exhale, crossing that leg over the body. Trying to keep it straight. Think of that heel stretching over towards that right shoulder. Feeling that stretch through the side of the leg. Inhale, bringing the leg back into the center. Exhale, crossing it over. Inhale, bringing it up. Exhale, crossing it over. One more like that. Inhale, bringing it up. And exhale, crossing it over. From here, just holding it there. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, really try to flex that foot. And inhale. And exhale. One more breath here, deep inhale. And exhale, bringing that leg back up to the center. Good. From here, go ahead, grabbing back on with that left hand, and we're going to do those leg circles. So pull those shoulders away from your ears. We're going to cross the leg over the body as you inhale. As you exhale, bring it back up, sinking the lower back into the mat. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more. Good. From here, taking it the opposite way. So we're going to inhale as that leg opens. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more there. Inhale. And exhale, giving that leg one last pull, really feeling that stretch. And on the exhale, go ahead, floating that leg down. Good. From here, we can get rid of that strap. And we're going to go ahead and grab our yoga block if you have it handy. So we're going to open those feet about shoulder width apart. Arms are going to come down by your side. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, press into those heels as you lift your hips up. Now go ahead and take your block, or if you have at home, if you don't have a block, grab a small pillow, and you're going to bring it right here underneath your lower back to your sacrum. Arms are going to come down by your side. And just relax here for a moment, taking a deep inhale and an exhale. And another breath, taking an inhale. And an exhale. Now if you want a little bit more of an extension here in your back, you can take your block and you can flip it up on its higher side. That might feel good to some of you. If not, just keep it lower. I'm going to flip mine up today because I just want a little bit more of a release here in my back. We're going to take just a deep inhale and an exhale. Now on the next inhale, I want you to reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, try to bring them all the way back up over your head and relax them on the floor. If they don't make it there, that's okay. Just leave them down by your side. But if you can let them relax on the floor behind you, send them back there. We're just going to take a deep inhale here and an exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Last breath there. Deep inhale. And exhale. From here, just floating those fingertips back up towards the ceiling, bringing them back down by your side. Now go ahead, press into the back of your arms, taking an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to lift that right leg up into a tabletop position. So feel those abs work. Those are what's going to support you. Now as you exhale, that left leg is going to lift up. Holding it here, go ahead, take an inhale. As you exhale, stretching those legs up towards the ceiling. Trying to stay connected to your inner thighs here. 
If your hips feel too lifted, you can lower that block back down to the shorter side. From here, we're just gonna flex and point those feet. Just feeling the stretch. Good. From here, just flexing those feet, pressing those heels up towards the ceiling. Now here, squeeze those inner thighs nice and tight and just hold it here. Taking an inhale and exhale. And another breath here, deep inhale and exhale. And last breath there, deep inhale and exhale. From here, bending those legs back down to a tabletop position. And from here, we're gonna work some toe tips. So if your block is up on the high side and it feels too high, go ahead, lower your feet down, make your block shorter. I'm gonna keep mine up and I'm gonna inhale as I drop my right toe down. I'm gonna feel a slight stretch in the front of that left leg. As I exhale, I'm pulling it back up using my lower abs. Inhale, drop that left toe now. Exhale, bringing it up. Inhale, drop the right toe. Exhale, bringing it up. Keep pressing through the back of the arms. Inhale, drop that left toe. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, drop the right toe. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, drop the left. Exhale, bring it up. One more, right. And lift. And then the left. And lift. Good. From here, we're going to lower both toes, so it might be a little more challenging. Inhale, dropping those toes down. Exhale, bring them up so they don't have to move a lot. Inhale, dropping them down. Exhale, bringing them up. Inhale, dropping them down. Exhale, bringing them up. Inhale, drop those toes down. Exhale, bringing them up. We have one more here. Inhale, dropping it down. And exhale, bringing them up. Good. Just slowly, genting, gently letting that right leg down. And then the left. From here, if your block is still high, go ahead, lower it down onto the lower side. We're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, just drop those knees open to the side. Just letting those hips relax. You'll almost feel like you're falling off your block or your pillow. Just take a nice deep inhale here, letting those hips open up. Taking an inhale. And an exhale. Another breath here, deep inhale. and exhale. From there, just closing the legs together. From there, I want you to slide that right leg out so it's straight. Then from there, slide the left leg. Just feeling those hips open, just supported by your block or your pillow. And then if you can, inhale, just reaching those arms back up over your head, just coming to a nice extension here. Relaxing the arms, relaxing the legs. Taking a deep inhale. And an exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more breath there, inhale. and exhale. From here, floating those fingertips up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, bringing the arms down by the side. We're gonna go ahead and walk that right leg in, and then the left. Taking an inhale, on the exhale, pressing into those heels as you squeeze the glutes, lifting the hips up off the block. Go ahead, remove that block, place it over to the side, and roll back down through that spine. 
from there, just hugging those knees into the chest and rocking it side to side here. Loosening up that lower back. If you had a long week at work, this probably feels good. Good. And from there, we're going to stretch those legs out in front of us. And we're going to go ahead and just roll it onto our stomachs. So what I want you to do is just rest your forehead down on your fingertips. So we're bending our arms in and we're going to open our legs about the distance of our mat. We're going to take a deep inhale here. And as we exhale, we're going to try to pick our belly button up off the mat. It might not physically happen, but that's the cue I'm giving y'all. And again, we're going to inhale. And exhale, try to pick that belly button up. One more breath like that. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, releasing that belly down. Now this next time on the inhale, I want you to press the tops of your feet into the mat. And as you do that, float the upper body, but keep the forehead connected to those fingertips. Hold it here. Exhale, lower back down, again trying to pick that belly button up off the mat. Again, inhale, lifting that upper body. Now try to press the top of the legs down into the mat. Exhale, lower the body down. Again, inhale, lifting it up. Exhale, lowering it down. One more breath here. Inhale, lifting it up. Exhale, lowering it down. Beautiful. From here, those hands are going to come into your armpits. We're going to press it up. Open those knees nice and wide and just sit it back into a child's pose. Stretching those arms forward. Relaxing that forehead down. Just holding the stretch here, taking a deep inhale. And an exhale. One more breath like that. Inhale. And exhale. From here, taking it up onto all fours. Those hands are going to come right underneath our shoulders. Our legs are going to move in for the knees are under the shoulders. We're going to take an inhale. As we exhale, press into those hands as you round that back up like you're an angry cat. Now inhale, exhale, drop the belly down towards the ground. The chin will come. Inhale, exhale, dropping that chin down, scooping the belly, pressing into those hands. And dropping the belly back down. One more time like that. Exhale, pressing into the hands, rounding it up. And inhale, dropping the belly down, arching. From here, coming right back into neutral. Go ahead, flipping those toes under walking the hands back by the knees and we're just going to rock back so those weight are on our feet dropping those heels down coming to a standing position here keep those knees nice and soft inhale as you exhale we're going to slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time restacking that spine scooping the belly squeezing the glutes when you get to the top lift those shoulders up by your ears inhale Exhale, rolling them back and down. From here, take a big inhale. Open those palms out towards the side of the room. Reaching the arms up from here, slightly lean backwards. As you exhale, flip those palms. Come to a flat back. Think of the weight in your heels. See how I'm picking my toes up? It's because my weight is back. My hips are reaching for the wall behind me. As I exhale, I'm dropping the body down over the top of my legs. Inhale, exhale, we're going to roll it up, restacking that spine. Keep that head down, very last thing up will be your chin and your head. Inhale, lifting those shoulders up by your ears. Exhale, rolling them down. Again, palms will reach up, big inhale here. Towards the ceiling. As you exhale, flip those palms, coming to a nice flat back here. Hips go backwards, squeeze the butt cheeks here. That's going to protect your lower back. Now as you exhale, drop that body down. Taking an inhale, 
And then as we exhale, slowly rolling it up, restacking that spine. Getting to the top, inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, rolling them back and down. And again, inhale, lifting them up. Exhale, rolling them back and down. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful work, you guys. We're all done. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back um, tomorrow morning. I think I'm going to film um, the bar class. So the bar class is also in the studio. It'll be at 9.45. So um, if you want to take that in the studio, feel free to sign up online. Um, there's still a space available in that class. Um, but if you want to join us at home too, that's perfectly fine. Just um, come to this page. And as long as everything's fine and I don't have any drama, we should be filming then. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. And again, thank you so much to everybody that came into the studio this week. It meant so much to me to see your faces. And yes, be watching for my email for my live classes for next week. Love you all so much. Bye-bye.